Okay, this is Gene Bosler. This is Cat Spring. I'm not sure if this is the property proper or if this is the uh, easement, but just to give you a perspective on where I am, that's um, that's the orange steak. Down that way is the um, is the gate with the combination lock. That's the that's the neighbor. And that's the property. And that road turns left right there. Okay, so back to these trees. These trees fit the description of what the property owner was calling me about. Tops real thin. There's some uh, severe caterpillar defoliation. Almost completely defoliated these trees. And the only thing that's green left on them at the moment is the second flush foliage that happens in late spring. That stuff usually isn't hardened off by the time the summer heat comes and so we you can expect a premature defoliation after midsummer and going into early fall so this is fairly common uh, on key trees we usually treat to suppress these caterpillars twice in the spring um, I don't know if it's oak leaf rollers or loopers or both or one of many different species that do this to oaks in certain parts of Texas in the spring. Some years worse than others. Um, the big monster trees back by the tank, back beyond the tank, look the same way. This is, uh, you know, a couple of days ago. This this place got the first rain it had in eight or nine months, and so there's a lot of drought stress already on these trees, and they're just now getting some water. Now, the trees that had oak wilt back by the property line, I don't see any symptoms on them. They were actually on the other side of the property line. Some of them are totally dead. This is actually, you know, sometimes this can be mistaken for oak wilt, this caterpillar damage. And in places where there's both oak wilt and caterpillars, you really have to rely solely on the foliar symptoms of venal necrosis to diagnose oak wilt. This is one of those sites, too, where it's now the end of June and it's not unheard of for oak wilt infected trees to fail to express symptoms by this time of the, by this time of the year although you know we we'll see the foliar you know, we we'll see the symptoms in, in as early as early May so we've had it we've had some rain you know we, we hope to get some more here and I would end of July, early August, come and look at these again and see if we could find any oak wilt symptoms. Even farther off down there, past that property owner, the guy that actually does have the confirmed oak wilt. And the last thing I'll do before I shut it off is I'll pan off in the distance these various properties here. see some dead tips right out there that could be oak wilt and if you look between these two trees in the foreground I'm gonna aim right between them and I'm gonna go straight to this right here that looks like oak wilt too. Could be this aforementioned caterpillar damage, but it's not looking like that to me. Let me zoom in on it again. It's one of the things I like about this camera, it's got a really good zoom. But this is something you can observe with the naked eye. And You know what, it's not going to hurt for me to go back down this way and compare this to the actual oak wheel. See if we can see it from the road without leaving the road.
Yeah, I think I was right about that oak wilt down there. Those are some thin trees, but not necessarily oak wilt. And last. Straight back through there is the dead, low-hanging canopy of an oak wilt that, uh, of, a, of a live oak with oak wilt that I observed around this time last year, and it's right on the property line. And so that, in the foreground, relatively, I say, healthy live oaks. That is our oak wilt. And then back in there is some more. The ghost trees stick out like a sore thumb from the healthy ones. There, there, and then I take you to this one on the edge. This one on the edge. This is a young live oak that's going to be a, you know, if it makes it, could, could be a hell of a specimen someday. I didn't recommend this type of pruning, by the way. Um, off beyond. There's oak wilt back in there, too. Some of these trees have been dead for a few years. Not to be confused with the brush pile, the burn pile. Okay. All right. And off here are some of the specimen live oaks that are relatively decent shape considering how bad the drought has been this one right here is kinda thin alright thank you